Well, Graham, are you up for the FA Cup after a rare weekend off? Um, well, we were certainly up for it, um, but I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't exactly go so far as to say a weekend off. I think every football manager will tell you that uh, there's no such thing as a weekend off, to be honest. I think I've covered three games this weekend. I watched two on the telly. We obviously covered the Bromley game. We were training, so it wasn't... Uh, it wasn't as you, you you put it a weekend off to be honest. It was uh, very much a, a weekend on. Very much so. Um, how much are you um, looking forward to the game with Bromley? Are you kind of do you have to play better than you did in the first game if you're to make progress in the competition? Oh yeah, 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 for sure. That that that's without doubt. Um, we didn't uh, we didn't um, come to the party, shall we say? We didn't perform as we would have liked or as we needed to in the first game. It was a rare off day. Um, we we just didn't seem to have our mojo and. Uh, we were, uh, again, you go 1-0 up, you probably want to see the game through, playing badly and, and winning and getting into the next round is a bonus, but we, we didn't manage to do that. All in all, it, was, uh, it wasn't a great day at the office for us. We've uh, we swept it, we've put it under the carpet, and um, we've come out and done exactly what I've asked them to do, was win the next game. They've done that, so... Uh, um, we're on a we're on a little run. We're, we've we've got a little bit of confidence, a little bit of momentum. I think yeah, it's seven seven from fourteen is a seven wins from fourteen and five draws. So we've uh, in the last fourteen games, I think we've only been beaten twice. So um, we're uh, we're in good we're in good form. Is your is your glass half full or half empty at the moment? I think you said after the Swindon game, our form was a bit patchy at the moment, but we're getting results. I mean, it, is that the most important thing? Or and if if you want to improve your form, what's needed to improve your form? Well, obviously, um, I, I hope the shackles are off the players. I hope we relax them. I hope uh, they, they, they come into work and they, they, they go on the field and they're relaxed and they're confident and they know their roles, know their jobs, know their responsibilities. Um, you can see there's, there's, there's quality there. You can see little bits and pieces, but I'd like to see it a little bit more often. I'd like to see it a little bit more consistently. Um, then passages of play, that quick tempo, the, the, the momentum in a game. And it's what we're all about. But yeah, as you quite rightly said, we're going to get results. Um, so that would uh, that would demonstrate the character and the and other qualities uh, and, and other qualities that we do possess. So yes, we're not going to play well all the time. We know that. We know we uh, we're going to have to dig deep in, in, in certain periods of a season. And uh, this might be just a little period that we're going through. We're, we're getting results, but we ain't playing well. So uh, we will play well. There's enough potential. There's enough opportunity there for the for the players. And I, I still have a, a, an abundance of confidence in them. Um, but I do enjoy when they turn up and when they, 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 they get a zip to their play and, and they have a bit of tempo to their play. I do enjoy watching them and, uh, and games like that. Does um, Rovers' recent results in FA Cup, do you have to stop saying Bromley are a non-league side? Do, um, I mean, how good are, are Bromley, even though they are classed a non-league side? Um, again, I think you're looking at football. This is a myth, non-league. Non -league. Bromley are a full-time team. Um, they are on the verge of the Football League. Um, the status is National League. I don't go along with this non-league. Um, they're they're, a, they're a, a National League team who are full-time. They're riding high in the division. Um, and you're looking at that division and you look at the likes of Wrexham, you look at the likes of Chesterfield, you look at the likes of Notts County. These are all, let's be honest, these are all league teams who should be in the Football League. So it's an extension to the Football League, really, because most of these teams are full-time as well. So. Um, yes, there might be a, a division or two apart, but uh, this non-league, I, I don't see them as a non-league te team. I see them, uh, they're in the National League um, and they may soon be in the Football League. But it's a big, big challenge. It's a tough challenge. They're a really, really, really solid, strong opponent. And it's probably the, the, the um, well, it was when the draw was made, they were top of their league. So it was the worst possible, possible draw if you were going to get a National League team. But um, it's uh, it's one of those. It's 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 an obstacle. It's a hurdle, and we just have to uh, we just have to turn up and, and 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 apply ourselves as we can. You always face a challenge head on. Um, how big an issue is it that Bromley play on a three G pitch? It ain't it ain't uh, as far as I'm concerned. It's not an issue. Uh, yes, Bromley will have uh, maybe slight advantage because they, they they'll be used to it. Yes, there's no getting away from the the, the different surface and things like that. Maybe a tad quicker. Um, but uh, on the foot, I seen uh, you seen the first 10-15 minutes of Portsmouth Harrogate last week, where uh, Pompey players took a little bit of getting used to the pitch. But after that, then I thought uh, I, th I thought the uh, they came into their own and controlled the game really well. Yes, it will be different. Yes, this the surfers may suit uh, Bromley um, more than ourselves, um, be, be, being that they are used to playing on it. But uh, most of these footballers, most of the modern day footballers would come up through the academies and the young lads would be training on it regular. 
Um, we don't have one ourselves uh, at the club, but uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, a lot of our lads have played and have trained um, on on these surfaces before. Um, so I don't, I, I, I don't see it being an issue, and, and, and I certainly won't be using that as an excuse. Do you get to train on one of these pictures ahead of the game? Yeah, yeah, we've done a couple of training sessions just to uh, just to get the lads used to it. Um, we've we we kind of changed our, our schedule a little bit just to uh, just to use the pitches and, 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 and the evenings and, and, and the dark and the dew on the pitch. So we've changed things around a little bit, just give the lads something different uh, something different to think about. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it should be a quick pitch, um, which which should suit us. Hopefully we can get a bit of a uh, bit of rhythm to our play, a bit of tempo to our play. But um, yeah, it will be different. But uh, it's 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 an exciting an exciting different if you, if you like. And I'm looking forward to seeing uh, seeing how we uh, how we play on it and how we apply ourselves on it. Any team news going into the game? Um, I've got uh, same as any other manager up there in the country. One or two little bumps and bruises. I've got one or two players who can't play, um, but the majority of us are, are are fit and healthy. So there's nothing uh, not non toward, nothing too strange. Yeah, will the pitch impact your selection at all? It will have to. Yeah, it will have to because, uh, like I said, there's one or two players who can't uh, who, who can't play on it. Um, for for medical reasons or for personal reasons, but um, look, whatever I have, uh, the 18, 20 boys that get on the bus that travel up, um, will uh, will be up for it, will be ready for it, and uh, irrespective of what team we pick or what system we we, we adopt, um, we will uh, we will hope to work, uh, give a, a better account of ourselves uh, second time round. And the carrot, if you win, is a home tie against Plymouth in round two. I'm not even. Let, let's uh, let's let's just deal with this one first. We uh, then obviously move on to Shrewsbury on Saturday. So I don't quite walk uh, <laughs> walk that far ahead. To be fair, because uh, as you know yourself, you can uh, you, you you can take your uh, your eye off the ball, and and, and and that's when you get get a little uh, a knockout blow. So we uh, we'll deal with Bromley first. We'll uh, we'll, we'll get stuck into that that tie first before we start looking elsewhere. All the best. Thank you. Brilliant. Thanks a million.